Hey everyone! So today in this video we are going to try to recreate ChatGPT inside of Scratch. So first thing first, we need to find a way to call the ChatGPT API. So how are we going to do this? So in Scratch, you can click right there and see there are plenty of extensions. However, it is impossible to install your own extension that you created yourself. So the only way I found on, by searching on internet is to use the shipper tester version of Scratch. So I found this article which explains how to use it. So here is the URL and we are going to uh, to first copy the UI and after we will uh, try to make the code work. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the design. So now what I'm going to do is to try to find how the in extensions system is working and trying to inject this in extension into uh, Scratch. Hey, hey, it seems to be working. So all we have to do, in fact, is to uh, provide the code and um, and pass it as, a, as base 64, uh, which give you a, a very long URI, which in real life encode the what you paste right there. And uh, in the ship taster GUI, you can click on extensions and you have this new option, choose an extensions for developer and you can paste your code and he will execute it. And as you can see, it adds uh, a new extension. So this is the second time I, I add it and we get new blocks. So for example, I can run this and it will give me the weather via an API, which is provided by the US government. And uh, we can call this and get the values. So what I need to do is to edit this, um, this code to, instead of using the government weather API, I'm going to use the ChatGPT API. So one thing is that uh, I will not use the official uh, chat GPT because there is now many better alternatives, which I talk in uh, my videos. So if you are interested, check it out. And for this project, I'm going to use a uh, Grok. Grok uh, is an inference platform that allows you to use the Llama um, models. So for example, I think I can take this, um, this model and you will see it is insanely fast. <laughs> it's unreadable. Yeah, 
It's it's so fast, man. This is insane. <laughs> so I'm going to use uh, this uh, provider. So let's jump in the code and code this. Okay, so we are back. Um, so I made what I think will work. Um, so I pasted it and copied it. So now let's try the thing. So the new, uh, the new thing, it's this one. So let's run it and it thinks we it didn't work. No, no way, it is working. So we got the answer of the AI. So I say hi, I'm John the Scratcher. And it and it answer. It's nice to meet you. Is there something I can help you with? I would like to chat. So that's pretty neat. And uh, now I need to make uh, the the answer onto the onto the UI. So I will try to do this. Let's let's do this. No way, it is working. So now we can use it. For example, I can launch it and say, Hi, who is Queen Elizabeth? And it will answer. Okay, it will. Uh, ah, <laughs> takes too much space. <laughs> it's a great question about a remarkable figure, Queen Elizabeth II. It was the longest reigning monarch in Br British history, serving as the Queen of the United Kingdom from February the sixth until her passing in 2022. She was a member of the House of Windsor of wind saw and played a significant role in British and world history. So as you can see, we can use a chat GPT and uh, it's all in Scratch. This is amazing. Scratch is so, <laughs> we can do so many things in fact in Scratch and it learns a lot of things and it deserves respect, I think. Uh, yeah, you. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, you can subscribe and leave a like, and also leave a comment. I love comments. I read them all the time, and I answer them every time. And uh, you can ask for ideas of videos, for a model to try, and you can also check out my YouTube videos because I post a lot of videos about different informatic topics and uh, a lot of it is about AI and informatic so yeah definitely check it out and uh, I hope you will have a very nice day and bye bye